hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima today i'm going to talk about another highly requested topic in fact if i tell you the number of emails that i received strongly requesting that i do this video you'll be shocked so guys i have i have i have come through for you as usual today i'm going to be discussing my mock question paper <laughs> yes <laughs> i know i know i know just you know grab your seats sit tight and well then of course i'm just going to tell you guys the questions that i was asked how you're supposed to answer the questions so i'm going to talk about every single question paper anatomy physiology biochemistry even the practicals so this is a series that you should not miss at all so if you've not subscribed to my channel and this is the first time that you're seeing my face just hit that subscribe button and please remember to turn on the notification bell if at all you subscribe but you've not turned on that notification bell if i upload a new video youtube will not notify you number seven we asked about the gross anatomy of rectus sheet so for this uh, you write introduction as usual then you draw diagram you know for rectus sheet there are three layers at which you're supposed to draw diagram there are three partic uh, particular diagrams that you should draw at the three different layers so take note of that you draw the diagrams then now write about the formation of the rectus sheet all these things are headings that you're supposed to write though no paragraphs you write the the um formation under the formation you note that it is the aponeurosis of these muscles that forms the rectus sheet though not the muscle itself like my second in cause i made a stupid mistake and I, I was busy writing the the rectus sheet is formed by the external of leg of the minis muscle i'm sure the examiner would have just looked at my script and just shake my head and would have drawn zero for me <laughs> So it is the upon those little things that mistakes that you make that just make swallow your mark so it is the aponeurosis of these muscles that form the rectus sheet so you write the different muscles that form the rectus sheet do, do the aponeurosis move in front like the internal oblique abdominis you know it it gets to a point where the aponeurosis splits into two one moves anterior to the rectus abdominis the other one moves posterior those are little things that you're supposed to add describe that diagram you have drawn under formation that is what you're supposed to write on that formation then when you finish writing that you now write content you know write about the content what it, what what and what are found within enclosed within that rectus sheet the primary thing they even want to see is the rectus abdominis and the pyramidalis muscle once you've written that one then you can now if you can remember the other vessel the neurovasculature that are found there you can include that and when you finish write the blood supply venous drainage innervation lymphatic drainage and clinical anatomy when you finish writing that you can now shake your yourself that yes i have written ah number eight is just straightforward it's a no need for story this one this 8a you is easy for you to get your marks your full five marks self anatomical relations of the vagina superiorly what is it related to inferiorly laterally anteriorly posteriorly when you say superiorly you say superiorly the vagina is related by this 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 inferiorly it continues as this 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 laterally it is related to this 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 so those are little things that you should that you should write that this one very easy five marks then 8b the blood vessels and lymphatics associated with the vagina this one too if you can draw diagram very important even these relations of the vagina if you can draw diagram draw it it will help you a lot this blood vessels and lymphatics if you can draw diagram please draw the diagram it will help you a lot write the heading blood vessels list the blood vessels write the heading lymphatics leave the lymphatics and which part of the vagina exactly do they drain do they supply take note of that then number nine nine a two is straightforward have at no at least five differences between mitosis and meiosis so at least if you've written up to five you will get Man, at least reasonable mark when it's in less than five you start losing marks so five six seven eight if you can even have up to ten so good for you differences between mitosis and meiosis and number nine they say add a note on three clinical abnormalities as a result of mitosis and meiosis that one too straightforward you just list climbing filter toner down just list list them then add short, 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 short notes on what causes it what exactly is it um what exactly 
caused this um, clinical abnormality then number 10 a maxillary sinus so you of course you write the introduction very important you write the introduction then draw a diagram you know that like, maxillary sinus is a paranasal air sinus yes you know but don't assume that your examiner knows write it down under the introduction then where it's found to write it down that introduction then you draw your diagram after drawing your diagram you now write about the relations the roof the floor the lateral border medial border so are little things that you should add then the drainage what does it open into the maxillary sinus opens into the middle meatus you include it and if you can be precise to which part exactly of the middle meatus does it open into you add it to give you extra mark finally ha huh, i can't believe this that is only embryology they asked only one embryology question and it's even half mark five marks it's embryology i love so much i can't believe it's just five marks and it's the only one no? so but you see these five marks we so to get three over five that means you've written very well <laughs> so development of pancreas you know if you've not watched my embryology video how to answer embryology questions please go and see it i'll put the link up for you go and see that video okay it's step by step the first thing that the examiner wants to see is what does it develop from is it from endoderm is it from mesoderm is it from ectoderm like you know pancreas now develops as a pancreatic bud as a branch of of from the gut tube the primitive gut tube or the primitive let me say primitive duodenum so you need to include it that oh it is endodermal in origin if you can remember the week at which the development starts and the week at which the ve development ends, that would be nice you know then you now write the different steps step by step ventral pancreatic board those are pancreatic board each step try to draw a diagram if you say that there was differential growth that made the ventral pancreatic board to grow into the dorsal pan to grow to meet the dorsal pancreatic board draw a diagram and show that arrow where it grew and met with the dorsal pancreatic board then when you write all these things step by step you now include the clinical a bit congenital anomaly you can't write anything in embryology without adding that what could happen if a particular step fails to develop very important the next week okay don't worry i'm here for you i have the paper here for physiology but i didn't know the anatomy see anatomy on my own is like my best best course anytime i'm talking about anatomy i'm always so enthusiastic so i guess that's why this video is so long so i'm going to upload the physiology and biochemistry next week no vex oh if there's anything i missed <laughs> please just especially my bosses that are watching this video just put the add the notes or if there's any correction at all add it in the comment section i'll be very very happy to watch it and read your comments and reply to your comments as well i hope this video has helped one or two persons i'm sure it has <laughs> judging by the volume of emails that i received requesting to do this particular video i'm sure that it has helped a lot of people so please subscribe to my channel if you like this content give this video a thumbs up please like this video if it helped you at all and if you've subscribed at all please put on that notification bell so that youtube will notify you when i upload a new video i remain your girl jemima see you next week bye